Good morning and welcome to the Persian Gulf and Austrian Air Force Flight 1 out of Syria Island. Today's mission for us is going to be to engage one or two power plants. It all comes down to how good we can deploy our bombs. Now, I have this little thing. Uh, I actually got a track IR sensor from TrackHat with my uh, track IR5 camera. So, um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of looking around like this because I'm not just going to talk about how I most likely am going to miserably miss the targets. I'm also going to talk a bit about the experience of using a track AR. Now, one of the things about track AR is that, of course, it tracks your head movements. So, it doesn't only track where you look, it can also track in depth, so you can look a bit uh, closer at um, a part of the display here. Of course, this is uh, not really foolproof, of course. Uh, we're gonna set the radio to 251 and we are gonna set it for main. Now this is actually a part that I do miss a bit because I prefer to ha be able to just zoom in more. I can do that but then I'll just mess up my track IR settings and have to reset them. <sighs> so we shall get the nose strut up. We should have a check on the flaps. Flaps are full and down. Uh, countermeasures are single. Now, one of the advantages, of course, is that you can now bind your one of your buttons to something else entirely. And that is actually a nice little thing to do. Uh, another feature is that on servers, where my little favorite trick of using the F5 padlock is disabled, uh, track IR really gives a huge advantage. So we will be preparing for takeoff, we will be uh, preparing for a... preparing for... let's see here, that way is not where you take off, so we'll be taking off in this direction. The last thing we will do before takeoff is that we will be tracking the heading towards the primary target. All stop. Uh, heading towards primary target will be 0 to 6. So we will be entering 0 to 6 into this one and then we'll have at least an average view on where it is. Today's cargo is for Snake Eyes, and it is my... Uh, wait a minute... Yeah. For Snake Eyes, confirmed. And... Uh, where is it? Yeah, it's for Snake Eyes. I was just convinced there for a moment that one of the bombs would be different, but let's, let's just roll with it. We have four bombs to generate, and uh, if all goes well, uh, we will be deploying the bombs, uh, two bombs per factory. Of course, there will be a little bit of a gliding here on the runway. We will try to avoid that as much as possible. Lift off. Wheels up. Looking good so far, we will be turning towards our designated course. I will be using the manual zoom in there a bit, uh, just so we are in a good spot regarding the, to looking at the uh, instruments. Now the F5 is not really known for its vast quantities of fuel, so we will be making sure that we have uh, our afterburner turned off and our flaps completely up. 
Now we are on the heading for the target. That means we are going to have to have our head on a swivel. Make sure that uh, no enemy aircraft are sneaking up on me. Uh, we have a uh, radar ping that most likely belongs to a friendly site. Now, like I said, getting used to the Trek AR, I got this less than 24 hours ago, so I'm not used to it by any means necessary. I mean, it's uh, a very interesting experience to be able to just turn your head and look that way, and I'm really looking forward to trying using it in a dogfight. Uh, but it's also a bit disconcerting, because first of all, you need to be able to reset it at any given th point in time. And, uh, of course, that is that is an easy thing to do, because you simply set a button for it. But it also takes a bit of a habit, and it's also something I would only use with a large screen. I mean, I'm not even sure I would use it with a 24-inch screen. I got a 27-inch screen. And I think that, in a way, it's a little bit too small. Uh, I've also heard it said that uh, people should not try and use it with... If they're using free screens, they should, they should just uh, leave it be. There's no sun here. So we will be heading towards the power plant, hope the power plant has not been destroyed, and if the secondary target at <coughs> is destroyed, sorry, <coughs> then we should hopefully be in a position where we can open up more airplane slots at the nearby airstrip. You'll have to apologize, I have a really sore throat today it seems, so... Um, Uh, I might not be talking uh, talking a bit less. Still no, not very many radar pings from uh, the Iranian side. That's actually interesting. Uh, Bombs will be armed by the nose. Um, yeah, that's it for now. We'll go back on our heading and uh, wait a minute. Ah, that's just a hawk sight. I was worried it was something else entirely, but. I haven't actually seen it, if so. And uh, there's the AWACS. Good to hear him. So, 07 for 70. Uh, that's Dodge most likely a cap. 088 for 50 is even either something that scrambles or a helicopter. Uh, I would guess helicopter. 017 might be a problem down the line, so we'll need to keep our eyes open for that one. Enemy coast ahead. One thing that doesn't really help uh, with the track IR is that my computer chair is actually responding to my movements as well, so it's a bit of a balancing act between the track IR and how I actually sit and I would say that I don't think really that I don't think uh, fighter pilot cockpits are from uh, have like f formidable comfortable chairs so uh, well they might act oh it, our screen really lit up now uh, a50 sensor and a bit more I'm just gonna Check the F-10 map. Uh, our target should be... Yeah, our target should be... Uh, there should be a road there. I'm still gonna use the F-10 road to navigate. Yeah, I've hit this target before, so... Dodge one, one. 
I can actually see it now. Oh crap, pop up group 107 for 40 for 2000. That's probably something that scrambles to go, go and get me. Meaning that we should try and unload. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop two bombs and uh, keep a really. Going to really uh, look out for. Yeah, now I'm worried. We're gonna hit the factory, and then we're going to most likely have to go defensive. Guns are online, should we need them? Bombs away! No joy, no joy. We did not hit the targets. Shift bomb hard points and let's let's go for another run and uh, then turn defensive against possible Iranians. I think one of our, one of our bombs might actually have hit. Let's go. Bombs away. Switching to missiles. Zero zero nine for fifty. Did we hit the targets this time around? I don't think we did. Um. We'll set the, our crosshairs for manual in in case we ha have to use the guns. Uh, I'm gonna do the bogey though, Baywax. Ditching the tank, 113. 113 locked in, that's the way we came. I'm not really worried about 07, uh, 017 because that one is flanking, uh, meaning they're not heading to... Oh wait, uh, now I'm worried. Uh, we got MiG-29 somewhere around here. Uh, at least we got the workshop, confirmed that the target has been destroyed. We really shouldn't linger here, but... Uh, 120 for 40, magic, I need another bogey dope, please. One one seven for two six at two thousand. I think there's a lot of shit coming my way now. Where the hell are they? Gonna need another bogey dope for this one. Magic dodge one one. 
Dodge Gwen 1, Magic Bra 127, 418, at 127. They're out over the ocean at 2,000 hot. Alright, we'll take them on the way back. Ah, that's not good. That's not really behind us, but... I think we have far too much incoming at us right now. So much that it's going to be hard to counter all the enemy movements. And since the, our primary target was destroyed, I'm very tempted to just disengage. Dodge one, one. Magic pop -up group. One, three, one, four, seven. At two, one, three, one. We should have those on visual any time now. But they're on 2,000 and we, we are a bit higher than that. Okay, we are merged, and I don't Dodge have a clue. One, magic pop -up group, one, one, six, four, at hot. I can't see the guy. I haven't really developed a pattern on how to spot the enemy with the track AR either, for that matter, so... But then again, they were on 2,000, so they were really low. Hopefully, my altitude... Dodge one, one. Magic pop -up group. Zero, three, six, four, six. At 500, flanking. Zero, three, six. I might have actually flown right past them. Okay, so that direction somewhere, and they were flanking. I still don't see them, and I'm not really focusing on how I'm maneuvering my plane while I'm doing it, which is actually a bad thing, believe it or not. They're supposed to be here somewhere. Uh, let's check something I've actually forgot. Left is low, so we'll switch to that. I shouldn't be using the external view to try and find the enemy, but at this point in time, I think I can allow myself that little handicap. I mean, it's not like I'm using the F5 function, so... I'll actually have to use visual scanning to try and find them, but external views do give a better ability to spot targets. I'm gonna see if they have committed to me or not. Magic Dodge one one request bogey dope. Dodge one one magic bra zero eight zero four nineteen at five hundred flanking zero eight zero. I can probably disengage and head for home. Yeah, we are really stirring the hornet's nest here. Uh, multiple 29s, some of them over the mainland, some of them... I did have a sniff on some of them straight ahead too. But the guys who are currently pinging me is probably, probably the 29s. Uh, our fuel status is good, so... 
There is a part of me that do want to go into battle with the 29s, but I'm not really sure I want to do that. I'm gonna ping for bogey dope again. Magic dodge See what happens. One, one. Request bogey dope. Wait, I got a visual. I got a visual on a bogey contrailing. Really, I did, I had it. That's actually interesting. I do see it from the external view, but I don't see it from my cockpit, which is where I really should be seeing it. Okay, so I'm going head to head with 29s here. Does anyone think this is actually going to end well for me? N never mind that, I'm going head to head with two 29s. Am I fucking suicidal? Well, yes. Fox 2! I had a tone there for a moment, but lost it. I think I might have fired a wee bit too soon. I don't see any evidence of impact and they have stopped contrailing. I fired way too soon there. Copy merged. Merged 29s. And I can't even see them. Now this, my fellows, is annoying. Whatever happened, they seem to have turned off their uh, radars as well, because I've lost them on the radar screen. Uh, but I do think it's time for me to go very, very low, and see if they dare follow me there. Well, we had a successful launch on a MiG-29 at any rate. But why did I lose them? Magic dodge one one. Request bogey dope. I mean, I shouldn't dodge have. One, one. Magic clean. What the hell? Where did they go? I mean, I don't really say that two Meg 29s are a figment of my imagination, but oh, wait, of course. Uh, there's a friendly airstrip uh, right behind us. And uh, if it's a friendly airstrip, like any friendly airstrip I know, it might actually have air defenses. And if so, the air defenses might have shot them down. But in my business, you don't really... You don't really take chances like that. But I know that I fired on them once, and then they dis basically dove to avoid contrailing, and then they disappear. I'm gonna do a once-over of the nearby airport, see if it's in our hands or enemy, and uh, then I might actually consider a landing. But I'm really... where the hell did they go? Yeah, the airport j just ahead is actually um, one of ours. Okay, so we got pinged by an A-50 now. One zero eight. Okay, so we got uh, a pop-up group right behind me. Uh, 091 for flanking. I wonder if those are our missing MiG-29s. Well, 
we'll go out go out over the water have a look there see if we can't find something uh, fuel status is about 50 percent so it'll be a short run see if we can find them and if we can't find an engagement we'll kill them Zero nine six for thirteen. O nine zero. There might be air defenses on this island up ahead, so we're not going to uh, mess too much with them. Uh, three two seven for eighty at five thousand hot. Uh, we'll just skip that, and instead we'll um, focus on landing on the Iranian mainland, which I think is a far more fun thing to do. Now, I have to give this feedback for the track IR. So far, it has not hindered me in any way. In fact, I would say that uh, using the track IR adds a lot of immersion because I actually have to turn my head like this to try and find the enemy, which is actually a very stressful thing to do. It adds a bit of stress and I haven't been able to do what I wanted to do, which is trying to track a target with the track IR. But I'm actually very pleased with the performance. I mean, it's it's a, it's a very different thing of, and a very different way of flying. So it's time for one of my landings, which is basically just a controlled crash. And we will be adjusting our plane a wee bit. So we will be ending up more in line to the runway. But it's going to be interesting to watch the um, tack view afterwards to see if how uh, what really happened with those 29s. I don't think I splashed one of them, um, but uh, yeah, we'll see if I splice the footage into here. So if so, you'll you might already have seen what happened to them. But right now we should focus on landing. Yeah, the pop-up group 117 can probably take me out fairly easily now, uh, even before I'm landing. But I'm uh, gonna do... F yeah, they're, they're a similar group have turned up to be cold, so... We'll set her down at that airstrip then.
One area where I find the track air to be a little bit annoying is uh, during landings like this, where I'm trying to keep the air airplane on one bit of oh, crap. I think it's just a mean side wind. I think I'm blaming the track AR for what amounts to be a right horrible side wind here. Or am I? We'll see. I think I will be able to compensate a wee bit with the rudder and... I think I blew my brake chute way too early there. Not one of my best landings. Yeah, server restart in 10 minutes, so we are going to just take this thing back to the plate then. Yeah, that's basically me stepping on stepping on the brakes. We're not going to take off again, uh, but we are going to check if this airfield even have a. No, we're not gonna do that. Basically, it's uh, I have a day off today, and uh, my I added my work schedule to my private calendar, and I've been regretting it ever since. Because the only time I get pop-ups like that on my uh, of my daily schedule, uh, I'm an office manager, and is when I when I'm at home. I don't get these things at work. I don't know why, but I just don't. So, we're gonna head back uh, to the uh, taxiway, and we're going to park them. No strap is up. Let's let some fresh air into the cabin. I mean, after what we just endured there, oh, cough, cough, there is smoke on the distance. And I don't mean the blue smoke, I mean that we basically landed on an airbase next to the factory that we bombed. Power up a wee bit. I think the 29ths are back. Or that might be other 29ths. We'll find out sooner or later. Parking spaces are a plenty. Happy wizard. We will be parking right over here. Wizard on station at Moles one zero one for one hundred dash one twenty magic pop up group zero six six four ninety at one thousand five hundred knots. Well, we're safely back on the ground. See you guys later.